Welcome to Electron Line. Another application of, fun of exponential functions is what we call continuous compounding. And to give you a comparison to that, we'll do simple interest, compound interest, and then continuous compounding. You'll be able to see the difference. So here we have A standing for the amount that you end up with, P the initial principal that's being invested, R is the interest rate, and T is the time typically in years. And our example is going to include an investment of $5,000 at 4% interest, for six years. So simple interest, you get the following result. The amount that you accumulate equals the initial principal of $5,000 times one plus the rate, which is 0 0.04 times the time, which is six years. So that would be six times four, that's 24, that's 0.24. So we have 5,000 times 0.24 and you end up with a total of $6,200. All right, now when we compound, we get more interest because you begin to in earn interest upon interest. So N is the number of times that you compound, and typically in the bank it does it daily, so N would then be 365 times per year. So the amount that you end up with is equal to the principal invested, which is $5,000, times one plus the rate, 0 0.04, divided by the number of times that we compound yearly, which is 365, raised to the 365 times the number of years, in this case, six power. So this will give us 0 0.04 divided by 365, add that to one, multiply that times, oh, not yet, because first we have to raise to the exponent, so raise to the exponent, 365 times six equals, and then we'll multiply that times 5,000 equals, and so the amount that you, that you end up with would be equal to six thousand three hundred and fifty six dollars and sixteen cents all right so you can see that when you compound you earn more interest now a nice quick approximation of the amount that you'll end up with is what we call continuous compounding and we use the exponential function for that so in this case we have the amount accumulated is equal to the principal invested five thousand dollars times e to the rate 0 0.4 oh, no that would be a tremendous interest rate 0 0.04 times six like that so we go 0 0.04 times six that becomes the exponent and then we multiply times five thousand and then the amount that you end up with is equal to six thousand three hundred and fifty six dollars and twenty five cents now when we compare this to this, you can see that it's very close to the actual amount. It's just off by a few pennies, about nine cents difference. So you can see that the quick approximation, we can use the continuous compounding, the exponential equation, and that gives us a very close, close approximation to what you actually would be earning if we did daily compounding. So that's another application of an exponential function, in this case, in the, in the world of finance.